Stand up, God, put your hands together for Jesus. Let me hear you say, Big Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. The church spent many years in mortuary, and now she's alive and alive forevermore. Welcome back to the family of God Fellowship. The year of the dawning of a new day. When Dr. Michael Konkwo gave me invitation for this conference, which he has no reason to do, <laughs> except that you have to invite someone for calling sick. As a brother and as a friend and as my deputy, we have worked together now for the last two years to see the promotion of the kingdom of God in this country more than ever before. And I'm grateful to God for this privilege. The theme of the convention or conference is the manifestation of the sons of God. From my little vocabulary explanation, to manifest is to bring forth that which has been hiding. I'm not going by Michael West, I'm going to Idaho and East. <laughs> Michael West live in the West and I'm in the East. So. <laughs> to manifest is the authenticated language of the not visible but available. To bring forth to birth that which God promised. And to manifest is to bring the true expression of that which exists but has not been invisible sight to manifest is to bring about the covenant and the promise of God to you and me and when I read that I said okay when was the first time man manifested the ability of the invisible God and incidentally, the scripture that came to my mind is the one that I was seduced with for 30 years to religiously believe that God was quarreling with man. Until I had an insight that there's nothing you become that frightens God. You didn't hear me. And many of you are born alive and die ambitionless. And in a world of competition, learn to compete than to complain. Competition is the part of life. Compliment is an agreement that what your brother is doing is good. Join him. But to compete heavily is the will of God. Many, 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 many of us have come to this stage where we sing the song in the church. Whatever we be, we be. And it's not true. Your mouth can give you grace to mount up. You can mount up as you mount up. If you have the ability of God's language, just as the ego mounts up, you can use your mouth to mount up, then mount up. Two languages at the same time. I mounted myself up as I mounted up. There were spirits of degradation. There were spirits of inabilities and incapability in this whole nation. And 39 years ago when I came to the ministry, there were not one kind of a being that preached in Nigeria that to be blessed was the will of God. All the pastors I met at the scene sang songs like by and by in the suite. And many of the pastors that I met who were Pentecostals and charismatic had no character of the characteristics of God. And I began to ask God questions. Why is it that when America sends an ambassador to Romania, he behaves like an American? He doesn't become a Romanian by poverty. 
He doesn't become a saxophone by admiration. He tells everyone, I'm sent by the United States of America. But why is it that the ambassadors of God behave like vultures? I began to question God. And Bishop Mike, you'll be shocked to know what God told me. He said, they know the church, but they don't know me, the owner of the church. And no transformation can take place in any man's life, no matter how religiously you are religious, unless you find Christ. Did anybody hear what I'm saying? I'm not here to preach salvation message. If you haven't been saved for the last seven days, this 30 minutes will not be enough to save you. And you are in a church. Did you hear me? I know the man of God that I sacrificed this Sunday to come and stand by. It's a versatile man. It's a man of amiable character. He's rugged and rude in character. Of and I'm glad. He knows me. I have no time to flatter. Because only flatter, I flatter people. So God told me, create the awareness into people's minds that desirelessness is a destruction. So let's start from Genesis chapter 11. Verse 1. And many of you, by the time I finish, you are going to lose some of your friends and make new ones. <laughs> I've done that for many years. I resigned from the committee of you cannot do it. I was the chairman of Doubt and Unbelief Association of Nigeria. Until I got born again to be bound to do the will of God. Verse 1. Everybody say Genesis 11. Genesis 11. I didn't hear you. Talk like a person who is alive. Yeah. You know that Genesis can generate an energy that can make no light to be the other light. Verse 1. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. The whole earth, say that to everybody. I didn't hear you. Do it with me. The whole earth was of one language and one speech. Where there is unity, there's power. Verse 2. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Snar and they dwelt there. Verse 3. And they said one to another, Go to let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and sling had they for mortar. Verse 4. And they said, Go to let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name. Let's we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth. Say with me, come let us go. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. For everything you initiate, God will give you grace to inaugurate. Until you write, I'm not going to say anything. I don't waste my words. Very expensive. <laughs> There's nothing that you initiate that God will not give you grace to inaugurate. I believe in the midst of these people who were one language and one tribe and one tongue, one man must be the initiator who said, My come. Come, say that to everybody. I didn't hear you. Us. Say it again. Us. Let us say us. us. Go. Go. Forward. Forward. 
They stood in one place of confidence and comfort. And one of them said, we can break the limit. Say with me, I will break the limit. I will break the limit. I didn't hear you. I will break the limit. Try it again. I will break the limit. You can break the limit of high jump. You can break the limit of four forty. You can break the limit of hundred yards. When you are now, well, you are younger, too, too young to think about it. <laughs> In my time, almost sixty years ago, there was nobody that jumped seven feet. Belo Osage of USC Benin retired, was the first Nigerian to jump six foot four in 1956. <laughs> that few years ago. <laughs> he made it and won Olympic prize of high jump, highest jumper. Find out in 1996. Was it 96 Olympic or 95? 96. Find out what the high jumper jumped. Things are no more the same. People who sing, take me back, dear Lord. You don't need to pray for another reason to backslide. If you are singing, take me back, dear Lord. The high jump of today is different from the high jump of 40 years ago. The poor vote of today is different. The record holder of the world pole vote today is almost 19 feet from the ground. The high jump of today is almost 8 feet from the ground. The days of I cannot do something new must expire in your life. Yeah. And every day, Bishop Mike, as you grow older with your dear wife, look for friends that are so ambitious that when you say to them, God gave me a brand new Mercedes 500, somebody who will not jealous what God has done for you is who you need. Don't talk to a man who is afraid of your progress. And don't connive and co-host a person who whatever you do threatens. If I came here this morning and saw this choir, if I wasn't having choir, let me not say more than that. <laughs> you know what David said? My feet almost fell in there. <laughs> but because I'm so used to what you did this morning, I was joining you to say, Amen. Amen. It was all God. Amen. Hello, Major. Amen. Mother, Mother. Amen. God. Amen. I have no reason to jealous you because the effort you are making is effortful to achieve higher heights. But you must not relate, and I'm saying this to everybody, to anyone who you say, thank God, I just built a new house. And he says, are you still a Christian? <laughs> Don't relate too close to a man whose will is to draw you back in faith. I hope you businessmen are hearing this. There are successes that are pleasing to God. One man said to these lots of people, come to let us go. And they moved. The Bible said, later the same thing said, come, let's burn bricks and make us stones and mortar and build a city and a tower Say with me, time of doing nothing is over in my life. Time of doing nothing is over in my life. I can build a city and tower. I can build a city and tower. Say it loud. I can build a city and tower. One more time. I can build a city and tower. Let us, U.S., build us when we dedicated CPM you heard my message set a standard and I'm here this morning to challenge you to your new height all you have done now is infantry elementary section <laughs> the Lord told me you can ask my executive assistant for the last three months this message I'm preaching I told me to tell you all you have done in the last 20 years are preparing you for new heights. Yeah. So you are about to start your ministry from today. Yeah. You hear me? I think 
believe I'm the only prophet in Nigeria who doesn't charge for prophecy. <laughs> but God told me since three months, August this year, that everything you have done here is preparing you for what you want to do for God. Yeah. And I'm not afraid to tell you that because I know you are a goal setter, you can become a goal getter. Yeah. Somebody say loud amen. Yeah. Now come, Bishop, and see what they said here. Let me hear you say, Come, let us build a city. Come, a city. And a tower. Whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name. Whether you admit it or not, what we were taught by religious people for the last 30 years about this is that God saw the tower. He was so afraid that man was coming to meet him that he decided to come down in anger. Now, let me please explain this. The Bible says the heaven is the throne of God. And the earth is his foot too. And my Bible says, and your Bible says, our God is the most high. How high can anything be high to fall? How many of you are legal luminaires here? You are a lawyer by profession. I put it to you that you cannot improve on God. <laughs> if you are a son, I'm a saint. I have my sanity to challenge your sanness. Come, say that to everybody. Let us build us a city. Take the challenge from me. Building a village is enough. It's time to build us a city. Building a cathedral is okay. It's time to build towers. Let the Christian become the owners of the first bank that competes with Central Bank. Yeah. Let Christian become the owners of new hotels in Lagos and Abuja that can make nonsense of government hotels. Yeah. Ambition is the will of God. And the seed of greatness is in you and is in me. When God said, go into the world and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it, he knew there was going to be competition and contest. But he gave us a promise, subdue the earth. What we are giving power to subdue cannot relegate us. Is anybody hearing me this morning? When I came to the ministry, Bishop Mike, the greatest complaint was that the church was a nuisance. Incapable of getting a new car. Incapable of building a church. Especially the Pandora's car. They went to church to cry and did nothing. And then the, that was the Christians in the east. And the ones in the west, Ogo, Ogo, Papa, Ogo, Ogo, Papa, Ogo, Ogo, Papa, Ogo. After sweating for three hours, when the pastor wants to preach for 15 minutes, they sleep for 12 minutes. <laughs> in my time of coming to the ministry, no pastor in Nigeria, Pentecostal, had a car. And I got worried and said to God, if that's all you can do for those who answer your call, don't call me at all. <laughs> my brain and my IQ is too high to be detained. And said to me, what I have esteemed, who can diminish? <laughs> and he said to me, if you answer my call, I will make you an example. I met the gospel in poverty. I took it from mediocrity to prosperity. <laughs> Find out whether you believe it or not in Nigeria. I was the first to preach that to prosper is the will of God. To be happy is the will of God. To have a car is the will of God. To marry a beautiful wife like this is the will of God. 
Forgive your wife, microphone is the will of God. For her to sell the book is the will of God. To give me 50 copies from somebody is the will of God. I was the first to preach that you can be a Christian and be happy in Africa. I was used by God to introduce prosperity instead of poverty. But since last year, my, my bishop, the Lord told me, the next thing we are going to venture into is posterity. <laughs> we are entering a new era of what you and I do now. Our children will meet it and say it happened in my father's time. Can somebody raise hand and say, I will do that. I will do that. May 1985. Reverend Peace, hear me. God woke me up at 2 a.m. He said, from now, don't do what will die when you die. Do what will last you. And I called the whole body of our ministry and said, hospital will be built best in Africa. Schools will be built best in Africa. Today we have 94 schools with 43,000 students in Nigeria. Today, you are aware, you've been to this campus. We have the first Christian university in the continent of Africa. <laughs> prosperity will outlast prosperity. Each one of us must not only build a city and a tower, we must build what our children will meet. Because the Bible says, good man liveth an inheritance for his children's children. Somebody say, big Hallelujah. <laughs> your friend said to you in the last one week this bungalow we are occupying now is too small for us who among your friends challenge your yesterday's maximum to compare it to become today's minimum who who is your friend who said to you the Lord bless you last year with 10 million naira. And I'm glad to tell you I made 100 million. Who is that your friend? And that's who you need. Manifesting as a son and a daughter of God. This group, we are the first to say, if God can live in heaven, we can build a power to meet it. God was not frightened by their power. I will soon tell you what God was not too happy about. Not about the tower, not about the city. But listen to verse 5, everybody. Verse 5. Read it with me loud, everybody. One, two, go. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower with the children of men build them. Stand to your feet, everyone. Please Help somebody next to you to say, let's stand together. Let's stand together. Carry your wife up, or if your baby is carrying you, carry the baby now. God came down. I'm not sure you are hearing me. Say with me, God came down. God came down. To earth. To, earth. to see. To the city. The and the tower. And the with the sons of men. The of have built it. How many towers? How many cities? Bishop, my God left his throne, that's the Bible, and came down. Oh, that that day will come. That the grace of God will push you so far that God will say, That's my son, in whom I am well pleased. Oh, that that day will come. And I say this to you all in Lagos, that your ambition will not be to make a living, hand to mouth. That your ambition will not be for two ends to meet. I was telling them in Benin on Friday, when I landed, I arrived in this country two days ago. I said, people who fight to make two ends meet can never meet. The end of my foot and my head, they don't meet. My front and my back, they don't meet. 
my ambition is not to make two ends meet, but to make my life meet the need of people. <laughs> for to be rich is to reach other people. Amassing wealth for your personal consumption is poverty in disguise. <laughs> you didn't hear me. <laughs> Say with me to be rich. R I C H is to. R E A C H. People. To be rich is to reach people. All of you live in a town, the most religious town we have in Africa, where you can buy handkerchief, you can buy holy oil, you can buy towel, you can buy broom. You, can, you are looking for many, many, many magicians that are playing your oracle in the name of miracle. And it doesn't last. To tie handkerchief in your car is not the will of God. Faith does not come by handkerchief. Faith does not come by a bottle of oil. Faith does not come by broom in the back of your car. And faith does not come by falling down and rising up. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. And I'm glad that you have preached the word here, challenge, yet we stood the time. January 4th, next year, which is about five weeks away, will be 40 years I started preaching. I've never added anything to Christ and I need nothing outside Him. <laughs> Ask anybody who knows me 30 years ago. I've never sold broom to make a living. I've never sold oil to make a living. I've never sold handkerchief to make a living. I've never sold any sellable candle, camphor, red beret, green beret, anything sellable. Nothing can be added to the grace of God. And what God cannot do, no man can improve on it. If you love the Lord, say big amen. amen. Say with me one more time, God came down, God came down. to see to the, the city and the tower with man built. What have you done to attract the presence of God? What has God used you to do? Remember the Bible said the land was plain. When you bought this land a few years ago, in your absence, Dr. Boye just brought me here. And he said, can you advise your friend about this place? I said, I will not talk to him until he finish. <laughs> the swamp, the swamp, the swamp in this area can make any man backslide if he cannot front slide. <laughs> the million you sank in the floor here to get the ground out of water could have caused the weakest man to say, where is God? More than 10 times I have come here without seeing you and I didn't look for you. I make sure you are not around. And when I'm coming, I put the first card with the special so that your people don't know who I am. <laughs> we are here today because one man said it can be done. Yeah. Become a possibilitarian. Help yourself. Don't go to Presbyterian church or become a possibilitarian. Sit down and say amen. amen. You can become a possibilitarian. Let me hear you say, all things are possible. To him that believes. All things are possible. To him that believes. Let me hear you say, nothing shall be impossible. Matthew 17, 20, nothing shall be possible unto you. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. All things are possible to him that believes. Luke chapter 9 is possible. Matthew 7 says, whatever we ask, we can receive. John 13 says, it's possible for us to have the kingdom of God. And these men and women built a, a city and a tower. And God was attracted. And God came down. Now I'm nearing my message. And I have five minutes to finish. Praise team, come here. 
Hurry up. God came down. Can I hear you say, God will come down for me? God will come down for me. I didn't hear you. God will come down for me. I said, I didn't hear you. God will come down for me. To see what I'm doing on earth that it gets to me. Hallelujah. Many of you are saying the reason God cannot use me is that I don't have ability. God is not looking for your ability, He's looking for your availability. And once you cannot avail yourself to Him, He will make Himself available. Get ready for my.
of the hour. As members of the family of Trem enters a new phase in this ministry, God sent me this verse to give to you, Bishop Mike. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. Say to your next person, we are going to be one. In language, in action, in ambition, in effort, we shall be one. God says. And this is the verse for you, Konko. Add it to your motto for 1998. And now, say that to everybody. I didn't hear you. Maybe the most of you are alive this morning. Let me hear everybody this way say, and now. And now. This way. And now. This side. And now. My family here. And now. All of this way. And, now. and the whole church. And now. And now. Nothing. Say now nothing. Now nothing. Open your mouth. Say from now nothing. From now, nothing. From now, From now. nothing. nothing. Will, Will be, be restrained from, from them which they have imagined to do. Take the limit off. Oh, come for you are the one I'm talking to. If you are really going to answer your new name. A junior brother to Archangel Michael. You are not going to be like Michael, the uh, Archangel Gabriel. There are three Archangels in heaven. One of them backslider. Archangel Lucifer was the head of choir in heaven. Archangel Gabriel is the Archangel of good news. But Archangel Michael is the one that holds the sword. Archangel Michael is the rebuker. Of every strange spirit. I can Jamaica the one that said to poverty, stop it. Sickness, stop it. The word in Greek and Hebrew, rebuke means put a stop. Oh, that is enough. How many of you want poverty to say that's enough? Or when I say poverty, say that's enough. Poverty. Sickness. I don't have. I don't know where to go. I'm confused. I'm very tired. No money in my pocket. My wife doesn't give me food. Everybody's against me. I don't know where I go from here. From now. Say from now. Say from now. Nothing. Shah. Be restrained from me of anything I want to do for God. Stand up. That is the manifestation that nothing from now. What Paul did is good. What Peter did is good. What Ora Robert has done very wonderful. Billy Graham, amazing. T.L. Osborne, unequal. Benson is a hosa, yet to be caught up with. <laughs> but the next greatest thing to happen is you. Yeah. I'm not sure you are hearing me. The next miracle is you. The next miracle is you. I said the next miracle is you. No 
Nazi shall be restrained. God didn't say yesterday, say from now. All my legal friends, I hope you are hearing me. I put it to you that God is telling you the truth. From now, say that. Tell your neighbor, say from now. From now. Say it again. From now. Nothing, Nothing shall, shall be restrained from whatsoever, whatsoever you want to do from now. From now. The limit is broken. For trends, the limit is broken. Oh my bahia killer baya. For you and your wife, the limit is broken. For poverty, the limit is broken. From I don't know what to do, the limit is broken. From downcast, the limit is broken. From today, nothing shall be restrained from you. Somebody say big amen. Nothing, say nothing. nothing. One more time. Nothing shall, shall be restrained from me, from me that, I that I want to do. That is the gift God gives me. <laughs> so put your trend from today. <laughs> Bow your heads and join hands with somebody. Ephesians 2 20 says. Nothing you determine to do, God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think. How much you want to be determines of how much you want to be. No man can limit you from today. <laughs> this is the first breakthrough that man had. Children of men build tower and build city. And God said, from now, nothing shall be restrained from them. Yeah. What they determine to do. And I'm glad I have the apostolic audacity and divine capacity yeah. to put in your life yeah. the power to do what you want to do. Yeah. Is there anybody who wants to build a house? Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. Is there anybody believing God for a wife? Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. Is there anybody believing God for a husband? It's possible. Is there anybody believing God for money in their bank account? It's possible. Is there anybody who wants to be richer than where they are now? It's possible. Somebody say, Hallelujah! Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Here at Trem. The ground of your power. I bow my knee. So thank you for Bishop Michael Konkwa and Peace of Konkwa. And for the ministry you entrusted to their care. And now Lord according to your word to me to prophesy and say. Nothing shall be restrained from them. Amen. And for every member present and absent today. The limit is broken in the name of Jesus. The limit is removed in the name of Jesus. The limit is removed in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. I bow my knee to ask you, Holy Spirit, to visit your people with divine ambition. As I rise to my feet, I leave poverty behind. I leave sickness behind. I shoot everybody up in the name of Jesus. I declare you prosper in the name of Jesus. Be rich in the name of Jesus. Be well in the name of Jesus. Be alive in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. 
Lose your hand and raise it up and ask God for something tangible. Lose your hand and raise it up. Ask God for a miracle. Ask God for a miracle of your own. Ask God. The things that are impossible with men is possible with God. It's 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 lift your hand and wave it and praise God. Ask God for a miracle. Ask God for a miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and ask God for something. 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 Your light is come. Ask God for something. Jesus. Open your mouth and say, Amen. Open your mouth and say, Amen. Finally, Rachel said, the Lord has taken away my reproach. I stand here to say anything that will limit to you is removed. I stand here to say, if you ask God three things today, He will give you four. If you ask Him for one, He will give you two. He will be done, He will be done, He will be done, He will be done, He will be done. Let me hear say it is done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Take your seat. Oh, do this with me. All my limits are removed. The Bible says, ye are the sons of God. It's time for sons of God to manifest. 25 years ago, Bishop Mike, 1972, our total headquarter income was about 12. Well, let me not miss the figure. We were not getting up to 100 now. About 12. Well, let me not miss the figure. We were not getting up to 100 now a month in our headquarter church. Everyone you saw dance just now, either in university, finish university, or on the way to university. This year we have 317 people on scholarship. 317. I was told it's not possible. The job you do is not as important as the God you know. Some of you say my job is very bad. It's not true. God is a good job. Psalm 106 verse 1. God is good. Some people say the reason I'm poor is because I live in the village. Transfer me to the most remote village under the sun. Up to Djibouti where they have 240 goats and 200, 200, 240 human beings and 420 goats. I will still build a tower and a city. I believe that you cannot do more than what your mouth confess. And I've come to ask you, mount up as you mount up. Amen. Use your mouth to change your situation. Amen. Something new is about to take place in trend. I left home, and Bishop Mike, I have to confess my sin. 
to his hand. This is one of the few hands on that is sung, blessed. Oh, come on, they hear me, sir. This hand is blessed. And anything I touch surely must be blessed. 